Hey, what's up everyone? BNGF Plus here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can move assets between maps in BeamNG Drive. Assets can be anything on a map that you haven't spawned in yourself. For example, buildings, debris, railroad tracks, streetlights, etc. And each map has its own set of assets associated with it. This is often where we run into trouble when we try to move assets from one map to another because we need to associate those assets with the map that we're looking to move them to. If we don't follow the correct process, oftentimes we'll get a 3D model, but it'll end up with no texture or no material. Now before we jump into the process, I just wanted to mention that if you're using any map mods and you're looking to make your own changes to them, make sure you keep those changes to yourself for your own personal use. Don't share them back online as you likely don't have permission from the original creator to reshare and remix their work. For this example, I'm looking at Car Killer's Natural Playground map, which is a great expansive map, but it doesn't come with any buildings. So what I'd like to do is add a building to it. Specifically, I'd like to bring in the Ranger Station from the Utah map. To set this up, we'll actually be closing out of the game and taking a look at each of the map's files. But before we do so, there's one thing we can do to help us out. We're going to press on F11 to open up the world editor, and with the ranger station selected, over on the right hand side in the inspector, beside shape name, we're going to make note of this path, which tells us where the 3D model is located. With that noted, let's go ahead and close the game, and we'll take a look at the map files. Let's start off by taking a look at our mods folder, which contains the natural playground map. Currently, it's in zip format, so we'll want to extract that because we're going to be making some changes to it. We can do so by right-clicking on it and clicking on Extract All and Extract. Once extraction is completed, we can delete the original zip file. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you should now have a folder called Natural Playground. Anytime I extract a mod, I put it in a folder called Unpacked. If you don't have that folder, you can create it yourself. Within that unpacked folder, you can see all of the mods that I currently have unpacked. All of these mods will still show up in game, it's just they're not in their final compressed zip format. This makes it easy to make changes to the mod files while being able to check easily in game to see if things are working. We're going to put this aside for a moment, go ahead and leave that window open, and I'm now going to show you in a new window where you can find the files for the Utah map. Since Utah's part of the game itself, we'll need to navigate to the game's content files. You can see the path to get there on screen here. Let's double click on Utah to open up its folder. Double click on Levels, Utah. And you may recall from earlier, we made a note of the exact path of where we can find the Ranger Station's files. Let's go ahead and navigate there now. Now that we've found the Ranger Station file, let's go back to the other window containing the map mod. As we click into the Natural Playground mod, you'll start to notice that there's a very similar folder structure to the Utah map. Most maps in BeamNG Drive follow a similar folder structure, so when you're moving assets between maps, you should do your best to try to follow the exact same structure. In some cases, for example here when we go into the Art Shapes folder, you'll see that there is no Buildings folder like there is with Utah, so we can go ahead and create that to still be consistent. You can see that the folder structure now matches that of the Utah folder. We can now go ahead and select the Ranger Station files and drag them over to the map mod. With the files moved over, I'd now like to show you in-game what this looks like. To add the new asset to the map, we're going to press on F11 to open the World Editor. We're going to go to Window, Asset Browser, and you'll see on the left hand side there's a similar folder structure to the one we were just looking at. This means that we can go to the Art folder, Shapes, Buildings, and you can now see those two files that we just brought over. If we double click on the rangerstation.dae, which is the 3D model file, it's going to add it into the map. Just to give you an idea of what's happening here, on the right hand side in the inspector, if we click on Show in Shape Editor, that's going to open up our 3D model, and along the top if we click on Material, you can see all of the materials that the model needs. The reason for the orange material error message is because the game doesn't know where to look for these material files. So let's take a look at how we can fix this. So back in the files, I wanted to draw your attention to something in the Utah folder, and that's this file called main.materials. It's a JSON file. 
In some cases, this might be called materials.cs, but regardless, you should always see a file that has the name materials in it, and it's usually a JSON or a CS file. If we open up this file and just scroll down a little bit, you'll start to see some references for some of the materials that we were just speaking of in game. That's because this file is what maps the materials for the 3D objects to the material designs contained within the buildings folder. So there's a couple of solutions that we can use to make this work. The simplest is to simply grab the main.materials JSON file and drag that over to the same folder that you put the ranger station 3D model files in. The reason that this solution works is because the game knows to look for a main.materials file which will tell it where to look for the material files. This will allow it to locate the missing materials. One thing to keep in mind with this solution is that because we technically didn't copy over any of the materials to the map mod, it's still referencing the files in the Utah folder. This means that in the future, if there are any changes to the materials in the Utah folder, such as with a game update, this may end up breaking our materials in the map mod going forward. But as a quick solution, this is the easiest and most effective way to quickly move an asset from one map to the other. Back in game, we can follow the same steps by opening the world editor, going to window, asset browser, locating the ranger station under art, shapes, buildings. Now when we load in the ranger station, you can see both the 3D object as well as all of the materials spawn in correctly. You can use the world editor to position it on the map as you see fit. Just before we wrap up, I also wanted to show you the more complex way of fixing the materials issue. That involves bringing over all of the material design files from the Utah Buildings folder into the Buildings folder for the map mod. Now that they've been brought over, we'll have to return to the main.materials file and open it up. I recommend using Notepad++ if you don't have it installed. That'll make it easier to both view the file as well as find and replace what we need to do with it. Because the main.materials file comes from the Utah folder, you'll see that all of the file path references are for the Utah folder. These will need to be updated to our map mods file name. To do this, we can do a find and replace by pressing Ctrl F, coming to the replace tab, making sure that find what is set to Utah, and replacing it with the map's file name. You'll then want to make sure that you click on replace all, which will automatically find all of the references to Utah and replace them with the map's name. After doing so, we can close the find and replace window, and we'll want to make sure that we save the file. This now means that all of the material design files are now associated with the map mod itself and the main.materials file is even pointing to them within the map mod rather than pointing outside of it to a different map. This method should provide you a little bit more stability so now if the Utah map is updated, even if the material files change there, it's going to have no effect on the materials for your map mod. So hopefully this helps to explain how you can move assets between maps, including how to get all of the material files to work. Thanks for watching, and as always, I appreciate your feedback.